So you get one of these ridiculous uh, light, uh, fluorescent light holders in your bathroom and this plastic crap usually turns to junk. You go out to Home Depot and you buy the stuff. How do you cut it? Let me show you so you don't trash it and blow through about a hundred bucks worth of junk. You can see how that's kind of an off-white color. It doesn't really let the light through too well. You go to Home Depot. Those are ten dollars at 40, uh, 10 40 I think it was, plus tax. This is what I use to cut it. The multifunctioning power tool is about 20 bucks at Harbor Freight. I use this blade on this particular edge right here. And um, don't uh, up here I hit it and you can see the blades where they're kind of dull. Just make sure you, sure you got something pretty sharp. You just take this, put a piece of tape, no cracks work good for me uh, and the reason why it's also good is it kind of heats up that edge and rolls back on itself it doesn't do those little micro cracks because what will happen is as soon as you try and put it up and force it back up into that cavity uh, if there's a tiny little crack you'll break it and it's so frustrating been there done that thought one other added benefit is when these panels are cut when they barely fit in there and you cut on the outside of them, you might be off by about an eighth of an inch, which I was. But doing this, it allows me, if you can see this, I'm taking a quarter of an inch off, a quarter of an inch, and it still didn't break. So the oscillating saw with this blade is the way to go.